Hello there, my name is Nate Islam, and today we're going to talk about Toyon Pilot's Trench. So Trench by MGMT is the new record by Modest Mouse, and it has a lot of really good songs. A lot of songs that I think are really good. Um, it opens up with Jumpsuit, which is like a really good screamo song, and then it goes into Levitate, which like everyone really likes, and I think it's really good too, but it doesn't deserve to be like, you know... We're gonna talk about My Blood in just a sec. Uh, Levitate was pretty good. And then there was Morph, and that sounded like a John Bellion thing, but it wasn't John Bellion. I think they like made friends when they were touring and stuff, because John Bellion toured with them and, and stuff. And now we're talking about My Blood, Bailey. You wanna talk about- Uh, my blood, I thought at first, I thought it started off like really slow and then it got good and stuff, but it was actually really good after I listened to it a couple more times because I was like, man, when is this going to get good? And then it does get good, but it doesn't get good long enough. But now I think that the dynamics are good. Um, and then there's chlorine. It's like sipping on straight chlorine, let the jumpsuit over me. Nico and the Niners. Can you sing it? Sing it, Bailey. Sipping on sweet chlorine. Putting on my jumpsuit. Jumpsuit. Putting on my jumpsuit. Chlorine was really good, and I like how it gets really sad at the end, but it's like still really pretty. I just like the pretty sad sh stuff that they do. I almost said the SH word. I'm sorry, Grandma. Um, and then there's Smithereens, and so Smithereens is like tearing my heart too, and it's like the rest of the song, is, uh, the rest of the album is really dark and serious, but Smithereens is like I'll beat up a big guy, but I'm gonna lose because I'm 153 pounds. Um, but it has like this cool like Caribbean tropical vibe, and I'm like it um then there's neon gravestones and neon gravestones was like the best song on the album because it's tyler joseph saying she can't fart anymore um it's good because 21 pilots are like really self-reflective and they're like man this we create a society where suicide is cool and stuff kurt cobain and if i kill myself these kids will think i'm so cool but that's not actually cool you should go and like tell your grandma and grandpa how cool they are speaking of which my grandma and grandpa they're super cool because they didn't kill themselves that's really awesome and basically they kind of they're taking responsibility because in the past they've kind of romanticized suicide and like oh dude suicide is so cool 21 pilots that's not my grandma and grandpa. My grandma and grandpa are not romanticizing suicide because they haven't done it, you know? And they're super cool. You don't need to commit suicide to be cool. Kurt Cobain. Face it, half you kids wouldn't be listening. Kill himself, his wife killed him. Apparently Kurt Cobain didn't kill himself because his wife killed, wife killed him. But half you kids wouldn't even be listening to Nirvana if Kurt Cobain, Kurt Copenhagen hadn't killed himself. Their music isn't even all that good. Um, So Neon Gravestones is the best song on there. Um, and then there's the hype, and that sounds like something that would play at, like, the end of Blurry Face, but, like, in the best way. The hype is just a really good song, and I like it. Sounds really fun. Those Nico and the Niners. Everyone freaking loves Nico and the Niners, but I didn't really love Nico and the Niners. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I played it for King, Queen, Losers, but, like, the lyrics mean nothing unless you have, like, context to the album and like the lore like the Dima thing is like Dima and the Nico and the Niners but like that that means nothing to me without it so like is it supposed to be like I'm depressed if it is that's a really creative way to say I'm, I'm depressed but I didn't get that message I did not like cut my lip cut my lip was just noise it didn't have the same dynamics as the rest of the album it was like rest around the lip lips rest around the lips and I was like I don't like that uh, my friend was super high when he listened to it and he was like dude this is the best song on the album and i was like no um and then there's bandito and bandito i think is really pretty i know that brad taste in music wasn't super into it it's sort of slow i'll say off the bat this song feels like it drags on and it doesn't need to like this this chorus could have been not repeated like 10 times in the first two minutes it just seems you know but I think Bandito, I just love like the atmosphere and the production choices and the vibe. And it was just really pretty, you know? Bandito's just so pretty. And I like slow piano ballads that like build and stuff. And I think the lines, I created this world to have some control, destroy if I want. It's just really harrowing and it's spooky and it's like, it sends chills down my spine. I remember the first time I listened to it, I got goosebumps. I was like, whoa. Um, because it's just such a good gosh darn line, but like... 
it's it's scary. And then Pet Cheetah is like a Halloween song. My girlfriend has something to say about Pet Cheetah. I got a pet cheetah, his name's Jason. He lives in my basement and he licks my hand. And I love him. Pet cheetah, pet cheetah, pet cheetah. Um, at first, at first I thought the song was stupid, but then I listened to it a couple times and I'm like, it's supposed to be stupid, but it sounds cool. So it's just like Tyler Joseph just messing around with all the buttons on his keyboard, seeing what they do. And it was actually pretty neat because he made up some pretty cool stuff. And it's like, it's a banger. And then there's Legend and it's about the guy from the Vessel cover and apparently he died. And it's, it's a bummer. And I'm really sad that he died because he was the coolest part of that album cover. And he didn't deserve to die because of that, you know? But then Tyler Joseph sings about how cool he was and then he says that he wishes that he could have lunch with his grandpa again. And I thought that was really sweet because Tyler Joseph should have lunch with his grandpa again. I hope they meet in heaven so he can have lunch with them. And then finally, we have Leave the City. And at first, I wasn't a big fan of Leave the City because, like, it's pretty and stuff. And it's, but it's, like, made to be sung live. You know, he's singing about the faces looking at him. And I'm like, you're going to sing that to the crowd. But, like, it's, it's bigger than that because I read an interview on Alternative Press that said it's about him not believing in Jesus anymore. But he's, he's still Christian. He just has these questions. And, like, we've been following his fight with faith and stuff for such a long time. And, and it's just weird to see him evolve and stuff. I think it's really cool that Tyler Joseph views God differently than when he was in, in Toy One Pilots, but like early Toy One Pilots, you know? And so all in all, I think Trench is the best Toy One Pilots album because it didn't make Brad taste cringe. Far by a damn landslide, their best album front to back and I think the opinions of other people's are really valid, not like mine. So I get all my opinions from other people. And if Anthony Fartano and Brad Taste and Music think that it's really good, I think it's really good too. But also it's because I genuinely think it's really good. Like, I think it's just such a really good album. It's really consistent and all the songs are good and there aren't any bad songs. Even like the bad songs are super good. I like the very first song by 21 Pilots. I made her listen to implicit demand for pu puke for proof. I made her <laughs> I made her listen to implicit demand for proof in the car and she thought it was so good because it reminded her of Panic of the Disco because it has like those baroque vibes, you know. Yeah. Um, so all in all, I think Trench is a masterpiece. I think it's the best album of 2018, and I really love it. I've listened to it over and over, and it doesn't feel like an hour-long album. You know, it feels short. And the fact that it sit with me so good, and the fact that I know what all the album, what all the songs are this soon, is really impressive. The fact that they stand out on their own. I think that Tyler letting watching tyler like evolve as a songwriter and a musician this long and see him make something this mature is really rewarding and to see some of the payoff to a lot of themes that they've established early on is really cool too feels like your family and you're like watching him move on and he fixes all the issues i had with blurry face he the album kind of feels like a critique of the blurry face era and i like that because i didn't really like the blurry face era anyway i made a whole video about it i can't watch that video without cringing because i sound like i whine too much thank you for watching and okay google play rain sounds <laughs>